So it looks like the cops had these road closures already set up and now they're putting them out. We actually have had barricades up outside City Hall and around this area for several months now. And oh, that's in light of the protests that have happened over the course of the last six to eight months. Yeah. You want to take precautions. And if we can use the barricades as discouraging people to uh, do anything at City Hall, then that's what we want to be able to do as well. We want to ensure that people are able to exercise their freedom of speech and their First Amendment rights. And that's something that people obviously have, uh, have the right to do. But we also want to make sure it's done in a safe environment that the protesters are protected, and also innocent bystanders, that they're protected as well, and that they feel safe coming to Walnut Creek. And then we also want to ensure that public property is protected, and so we want to do, make sure that the police were present and protecting City Hall and other public property. Um, but uh, it, it's nice to see a peaceful protest. There were maybe 50, 60 protesters here, and, uh, and it's always, I've been part of these protests in the past, uh, it's nice to see it done in a peaceful manner. certainly am against that group. Uh, I, I would like to see if there is any illegal activities that they do, that needs to be followed up on. And if they are putting out any kind of aggressive language or language that could incite a riot, that needs to be followed up on and those people need to be arrested. I have no patience at all uh, for anybody that is trying to incite people uh, for violence at all. And, uh, and the Proud Boys have shown that they are not just willing to do that, but they do do that. Police! No peace!